the big story at this hour, Indian nationals in Kharkiv, which is Ukraine's second largest city, have been given just a few hours to get out of there as fast as possible to leave, whether by taxi, by, by car or even by foot. That is the advisory of the government of India. It issued not one, not two, but three advisories in a span of just 30 minutes or so in the last hour, essentially telling Indian nationals stranded there, and most of them are medical students, that they must at all costs find a way to get out of Kharkiv as soon as possible. They've given them three specific locations to reach, which are about any uh, anywhere between 11 to 14 kilometers uh, from the main city. They've asked them to reach those points as best that they can, uh, where they are ensuring, uh, hopefully, a safe evacuation. Now, this, according to the Ministry of External Affairs, which has just held a press conference, uh, this is based on inputs that have come in uh, from Russia today. Uh, so it appears, and, and the MEA would not expand on this, at least on the record, uh, that perhaps uh, Russian forces are preparing for a full-scale assault uh, of uh, Kharkiv and have given uh, the government of India uh, a window in which to be able to evacuate its nationals and its citizens from there. The big problem, of course, is how are people going to get from where they are, which are their hostels, their other accommodation, how do they get from that point uh, to the points uh, that the government has talked about in its advisories. That is the biggest challenge for students at the moment uh, because it is not safe for them to venture out. There has been shelling that has been consistently going on. Yes, the government has said, uh, do whatever you need to do, find whatever means you need to find uh, to get out of there, uh, including going on foot. Uh, but many of these students have been saying uh, that there's been consistent shelling, it's not been safe. Just yesterday, 21-year-old Naveen from Karnataka the in, was an Indian student who was killed in Russian shelling in the same city in Kharkiv. Let's quickly listen in first to what the Ministry of External Affairs said just a few minutes ago. The advisory that has just been issued by our embassy a little while ago and also by us uh, on the need for our nationals to leave Kharkiv immediately is on the basis of information received from Russia.